rooms, because as, as he even admitted there, Pence didn't even see her do it. And then when someone said, hey, hey, Pence, we, hey, Mike, we have an opportunity here. You know, Nancy ripped up the paper. Let's say that we're aggrieved and upset about it. Let's say that it was an undercutting of democracy. Let's say that it was a great moment and Donald Trump had just unified the country and she divided us again. He said everything but the unity part, because that had been a little bit too far. Because there's nowhere near anything that speech that Trump said was, was unifying. But you know, when a Democratic president gets up there and they say, how dare he didn't unify the country? He had a perfect opportunity to unify the country and he didn't do it. Where's that criticism coming from let's, next? Can we just, let's, let's get one thing out of the way moving forward. And it's gonna apply to every story that we do, okay? No one in the country is interested in unity, no one. No politician, whether they're on the left or the right, is interested in unity. No one, no one, no one, no one. Any, the people who cry about unity the most are the ones who have the least interest in <laughs> unity, right? And look, I'm not in, I'm not even interested in unity. Like this is what I'm interested in. I'm interested in a just system. I'm interested in fixing a rigged economic system. I'm interested in economic equality. Those are the things that we should be focusing on. But instead, they like throw out these vague like phrases mm -hmm. like you or words like, "Yeah, we want unity." No, no. There there is a party in this country that has been a complete and utter disaster for everything that we're supposed to stand for, for our constitution. They've been a complete and utter disaster when it comes to the working class in America. They've been a complete and utter disaster when it comes to law and order. So no, I don't want unity with them, I don't, okay? So anyone who claims that they want unity, first of all, they're full of it. And secondly, who do we want unity with? Do we want unity with a group of criminals who are running amok in this country? Or do we want unity with people who actually wanna protect democracy? We like to say we don't negotiate with terrorists.